Are you cleaning the air intake filter on your gas-fired hot water heater? If you're not, you could be running into trouble. If your hot water heater has already quit working, I'm going to show you a pointer in this video to maybe get it going again. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's take a look at this thing. So what we have here is about a five-year-old lock and bar hot water heater. However, Honeywell and a lot of the other popular water heaters that are gas fired are the same basic setup. You're gonna have this type of a gas valve with the flashing light that tells you exactly what's going on. Has your codes right here. If the light is flashing once every three seconds, then everything is normal. However, that doesn't mean that the filter is not getting clogged or is clogged. So let's take a look at this filter. The filter is located right here. Basically it wraps around the base of the hot water heater. It's a nylon type filter and when it becomes clogged, the airflow through here and up through your chimney is restricted and the combustion chamber will overheat and the hot water heater will quit working. If you climb down here and look and you see you have this filter down below and it's dirty, you need to vacuum that off and you need to vacuum it off on a regular basis. Let's go ahead and remove this cover. If your gas fired hot water heater is currently not working and this filter is clogged, vacuum that filter off. Then you need to come right here to this. Let's take a little closer look at that. This is a resettable thermal switch. If the combustion chamber overheats because the filter is plugged, this will trip. And this little button right here in the middle is what resets it. If your gas fired hot water heater is not working and you push that button and you hear a click, then you've just reset it. You can then go ahead and attempt to relight the pilot and see if everything is functional. Not only do you want to keep the filter clean, but you want to remove this cover on occasion and you want to clean everything that's in here. And then as you can see, the light is flashing on this gas valve. And on top of it, it gives you the codes. So one flash every three seconds is normal operating conditions, and that's what we have here. However, if there are other problems with your hot water heater and you can get the pilot to light, this will flash out your problems. And it's got a whole list right here telling you what they are. There's other videos that will cover this much better. This one is basically about bringing awareness to this filter and that you should be cleaning it. All right, guys, not a bunch of fluff in this video. All about that filter. Go take a look under your hot water heater. If it's gas fired, then see if that filter's there. If it is, go ahead and get it vacuumed off. Put it on your regular maintenance plan so that you can keep that cleaned off. Probably vacuum it once every two months is what I would do and you will never have any problems with that portion of your hot water heater. If you'd like to get an amazing shirt like this, I've put a link down in the description to our store. We have sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of cool stuff. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would also greatly appreciate it if you would consider doing so. And remember to always respect the power of your power tools. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of those two videos that are gonna pop up next to me, and we'll see you soon.